feeling quite emotional today. Take off my glasses so you can see my eyes. I'm feeling quite emotional today. And I know I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing last evening. I don't care. I only wore it for two hours last evening. I'm going to wear it again today. I may wear it tomorrow if I want to. I feel like it because I deserve it because I got some very, very bad news today. And I am this far from absolutely distraught. So Falcon calls me. Actually, I called him, but then he called me back. And this stuff is delicious. It's got more calories than the Slenderize, but it's got more flavor than the Slenderize. And it is banana colada. And I would thank you very much to try it. If you can send me some money now. It's frozen. It's really good when you make it slushy. But this is... This is my salve right now. This is the only thing that's making me feel better at all. Probably the only reason I am not in the fetal position right now. She went on a pillow. So I called him to tell him some stuff. And he said, hey, let me call you back. Okay. Half hour later, he calls me back. And he said, baby, I got some bad news for you. I said, oh shit. thought maybe he was kidding because he does that. I got a strawberry seed in my teeth. Pardon me. And he said, don't worry. It doesn't have anything to do with me. It has something to do with you. Well, that really didn't make me feel a great deal better. I said, okay, what is it? He said, well, baby, you know, I'm not going to say her name because I don't want to cause her any trouble. But let's call her Sherry. Says, you know Sherry, our hairdresser that you love so much? We both love her, actually. Said, yeah. He says, she has been fired. She is no longer working at Supercuts. I had a dream about four nights ago that she got fired, was no longer there. I was very upset. And to hear him say it today, it was a little surreal. He said that, that she got caught doing something. But the person answered the phones. He just called, I think, to make an appointment to go get his hair done. And the person was like, well, I can't talk about it. And then, and she says, are you one of her clients? And he said, yes. And then she just spilled the beans and told the whole thing. Sherry did something pretty illegal there at the store. She did what my ex-husband did one time. That was kind of like shitting in the hand that feeds you. I think people get too comfortable with their jobs and think they can get away with anything. My ex-husband, uh, when he his gambling problem got real bad, he would sneak out of there. He'd take a receipt, have a receipt in his hand for whatever, pack of cigarettes, and he'd hang on to it and get a DVD player, tuck it under his arm and have his receipt there and just walk out the door, and then bring it back and say he doesn't have the receipt, it was a gift or whatever, and get store credit. Mm -hmm. And that's what we would eat on and get gasoline, and I didn't know he was doing it until he got arrested for it one day. Everybody was so down on me, like, dude, if you needed money that bad, at least, you know, steal from a different different store. Come on. So. This seems to be an ongoing theme in my life because back when I was um, living in a horrible little apartment in Fayetteville, Fayetteville, Arkansas, the apartment itself, I mean, it they looked really nice. You get in there and you realize most of the people living around you are complete trash and it's not great. And I just was so depressed the whole time I lived there. I was sick and depressed the whole time. And uh, finally I was like, if I could just have a cat. Cause I'd had fishes for a while. But I was like, if I could just have a cat, my life would be so much better. And a cat, two cats came into our lives. One of them is Fidget, that cute Siamese cat that I have in some of my videos. And a little tuxedo kitty with a little bobtail that um, we named Daisy. She was very angry all the time. She had obviously been mistreated and uh, 
very angry kitty, but she needed she needed a home. And we were kind of letting them in and feeding them, but we knew we were going to get in big trouble, and we just, oh, we were just waiting for trouble to happen. And I went um, went to, I think her name was Alice, went to our manager, because it changed, they change managers really often. And I talked to her about it. She's like, you can have a pet. I won't tell. I've got a cat. I live upstairs from you. I have a cat. You know, don't worry about it. I'm not going to rat you out. I'm not going to evict you or anything. She's like, great. Alice rocked. And then... One day, Alice disappeared. And she got arrested, put in prison, because she had been, when people would move in, she had been telling them that they allowed pets, but there was um, like a, a pet fee, what they call that, like a deposit, pet deposit or whatever, charging people hundreds of dollars, like $300, so they could have a dog or a cat there, and then just pocketing that money, because... The, that whole apartment, the people that own the apartments, it's just, you know, there are no apartments where you can have a pet. They have all these complexes all over the place, and there, there are no pets. So, yeah, she got in pretty big trouble for doing that. We were very sad, and I missed her. Yeah, this seems to be a theme in my life. Unhappy. Yeah, my hairstylist, I don't think she got arrested. I think they just fired her, but I'm very sad because Sherry and I had... A long-term plan for growing this mop out and making it into a very sexy hairdo eventually. She's gone. She was all excited. She gave hugs. She hugged us. She said we were her favorite couple because we were all cute and nerdy with our little matching glasses and everything. And I miss her already. I'm very, I really am rather upset. Every time I've found a hairdresser that I love, love, love. They move, they change jobs. Seems like maybe they're kind of, hairdressers are a little flighty. She had been working for Supercuts for like 15 years. She chose now to do something to get herself fired. I'm not happy. I wish her well. She's been through um, quite a bit of hell lately. If you are watching this, Sherry, we love you. We're sorry that, you know, you got to a point in your life where you needed to do that. To survive or for whatever reason. I know you've been through a lot lately. We will miss her. I'm sure we'll find somebody else, but not anybody as cool as she was. Find somebody else that'll cut our hair all right, but nobody that was as cool and fun and funny and lively. I feel like she died. I'm very sad. Okay, that's it. Bye.